O oh Lord God, who is like you? You are mighty. Faithfulness surrounds you. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Blessed are those who have learned to praise you, who walk in the light of your presence. Praise be to the Lord God forever. Welcome, family and friends. I am the Reverend Dr. Redonia Thomas, pastor of Bethlehem and Laurel Creek United Methodist Church. We are one church serving two locations in the community of Greenville, South Carolina. We welcome your presence with us today. I do have a word from the Lord for you. If you would join me in reading Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 27. Hear these words of the Lord. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath, Came, when the Sabbath came, they went to Capernaum, excuse me. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teacher of the law. Just then, a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? Who I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly. Come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, what is this? A new teaching? And with authority, he gives orders to impure spirits and they obey him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Say thanks be to God. Let us pray. Precious Lord, we do thank you for your word. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy this day. God, we cry out to you this morning that you would anoint this word, you would pour it out into our hearts and our minds and let us just not be hearers, but doers of your word, O oh God. Holy Spirit, speak through me. I yield to you. Speak, heavenly dove, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I've chosen for a title today, God-Given Authority. god given authority. You know, my mother knew, knew how, how to spread a table. Most Easter's and Thanksgiving, the table was spread with some of her best cooking. Foods like fried chicken, ham, turkey and dressings, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, and crowder peas. It would be spread with things like candied yams, potato salad, and desserts like sweet potato pies, uh, banana pudding, and, and pound cake. She believed in being, she, be, she, she didn't believe in being selfish when it came to serving people and people eating her food. She would let you eat as much as you want. Well, God spreads a table just like that for us. Every good blessing. And it is laid out for us. In fact, one of um, the, the writings in, in scripture says that everything that pertains to life and godliness, everything is there for us. But we are content to take one or two of the things that God has given us and, and walk away. That's enough. But just imagine if you were to go to God's table and there was a fried chicken wing. And let's just call that salvation. You took that and you went somewhere and sat down. But let's say you came back to that table and you got some macaroni and cheese with that chicken wing. 
And let's call that salvation and forgiveness. And you took that and you sat down. Or maybe you got some candied yams and and we just call that favor. And you took that and sat down. My friends, there is so much more on that table spread for you. So much more that God has given us, but we are not bold enough to just go for it. There is health, there's healing, there's prosperity, there's wholeness. All of these good things are on the table for you. But on that table also is authority, authority. Satan on your track, always trying to keep you back overwhelmed with situations and circumstances in your finances, on your job, in your marriage, your health, always keeping you feeling powerless and defeated. We often say, boy, the devil's on my back. But my friends, it's high time for you to pick up what you need from that table to take the authority that God has given you and not leave feeling so powerless. In our text, Jesus was teaching in the temple. Evil showed its ugly head to disrupt the service and bring confusion. The people were amazed at the way Jesus exercised authority, but the devil, he wasn't amazed. He wasn't even surprised. He knew Jesus and he said, I know who you are. What do you want with us? Have you come to destroy us? They recognized Jesus. They saw his authority and had to go at Jesus' command. Jesus didn't call on his disciples to pray for them to leave. Jesus was stern. He exercised his position and authority. He knew who he was. He knew what he had to do. The Bible does not tell us to pray for Satan to leave us alone. It says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do you know who you are in Christ Jesus? Yes, you are forgiven. Yes, you are saved. Yes, you are sanctified. You go to church every Sunday. You go to Sunday school. Maybe you usher at the door, sing in the choir. On your own, my friends, you are powerless. But in Christ Jesus, you are powerful. Let me be clear. Let me be clear, friends. You are more powerful than you know. If you are a believer, you are more powerful than you know because the spirit of the living God lives in you. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Powerful? or powerless. The enemy will always measure you by how you see yourself. Did you hear me? The enemy is going to measure you by how you see yourself. If you went out to the nearest intersection and started directing traffic in your regular clothes, what do you think would happen? Well, you just might get run over. But if you were hired by the city or the state, and given a uniform to direct traffic, you could step into that intersection, hold up your hand, and the traffic would stop, not because you're Superman or Superwoman and get and can get cars to stop when you just hold up your hand, but it would stop because you would be recognized as having designated authority. Where did the policeman get the authority? It was designated to him. So authority is designated power. Somebody gives you that authority. The value of authority depends on the force behind it. The policeman has all the laws behind him. He may not feel like he has that authority, but he has it. He may never use his authority, but he still has it. He may not even know that he has it. But the law behind him recognizes that the policeman has the authority. In the same way, the devil knows that you have power and authority, but do you know it? 
Do you know it, my friends? Remember, the enemy measures you by how you see yourself. So I have a question for you. How do you walk in your God-given authority? And I have some answers for you. How does a teacher exercise authority in her classroom? How does a judge exercise authority in the courtroom? How does a mother exercise authority over her house? First, you must know that God has given you authority. Luke 10, 19 says, I give you authority to overcome all the power of the enemy. Just like Jesus empowered 72 and sent them out, he has empowered us with the Holy Spirit. Second, be aware that God is the force behind the authority given to us. 1 John 4, 4 says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That is why we can be bold in faith and stand our ground in the power of his might. You have the mighty working of the Holy Spirit in you as a force behind you. The devil knows that. You are a mighty force through the Holy Spirit of God. The devil knows that, my friend. And finally, know that authority does not ask or beg. Authority commands. When was the last time you used your authority? The last time you told your child or your grandchild, stop running in the house. Turn off your TV and go to bed. When was the last time you told someone, mind your own business? Telling someone, you better back up. You don't know me like that. The last time you were demanding, you didn't ask. You didn't beg. You commanded. This lady left her house and was walking to catch the bus. Her dog was following her. She told the dog, you can't go with me. Go back to the house. The dog kept following her. Again, she said, you can't go with me. Go back to the house. So when she got to the bus stop and as the bus pulled up, she looked at the dog and said, get back. The dog turned and ran to the house. We have to speak with authority like Jesus spoke with authority. The devil knows when you mean business. He knows when you are confident with your authority. It's time for you to walk in your God-given authority. The devil is behind every bad thing. We have no problems using our authority with our family and some everyday situations. Satan came to steal, to kill, and destroy. He is out to wreck your life, your family life. He needs, and, and you need, to use your God-given authority and be firm with him. Church, we understand that God is for us. We understand that he's our guide, our protector, our healer, our deliverer, but we forget that God is also in us. Christ in us is the power of God in us. Christ in us is the power of God in us. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, my friends? I need to repeat that Christ in us is the power of God in us. Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. God's Spirit lives in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. We have authority in this life and it is backed up by the forces and the power of God that is in us. Why would God put his power in us? And every time something happened, he had to just come down here and see about us. No, church. He has put power in us for us to handle some of these things and his power working through us. With that power working through us, we will be able to handle some of those things. The text showed us how to take authority over the enemy. 
Luke 10, Jesus said, I've given you authority to overcome the power of the enemy. We need to stop being a defeated church. We need to stop being a defeated people, a defeated community, a defeated nation. We need to rise up and walk in the authority that God has given. We need to be stern and tell the devil, get. Get out of our church, get out of our homes, get out of our life. We must rise up knowing that God has empowered us to take authority in this life. We are God's powerful agents, a mighty force in the world. Do you believe it, my friends? We are God's powerful agent, a mighty force in the earth. Be bold, lay hands on the sick. Lay hands on yourself, your children. Tell the devil to get out of your house, to get out of your life, out of your community. There were times when I, so much was going on in my home when I was a young mother and raising my children. And I would get so angry with the devil. I would lift a window in my house or I'd open a door and I would tell the devil to get out of my house to get off my children, to get out of our life. My friends, tell the devil to get today. Plead the blood of Jesus over all that belongs to you and take authority. See what God can do through you. See the enemy leave your situation. Remember, God spreads a table before you and on that table, is your designated authority. Take your God-given authority today and walk in it. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us boldness to use the authority you've given us to defeat the enemy. Help us to resist the devil and command him to leave our presence. Open our eyes to see the power and authority you have given us, and the boldness to use it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I don't know what your relationship with God is today, but now is a good time to repent and turn away from sin and seek the God who is seeking you. Amen. Amen. Friends and family, our prayer in 2021 is that you will be encouraged and strengthened through the words of our ministry. God will bring you into your destiny as you walk faithfully after him. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Find us on our website, Bethlehem GVL. Laurel Creek Church um, O-R, dot O-R-G, dot org. Bethlehem GVL dot org, Laurel Creek Church dot org. Find us on our website. Friend us on Facebook and find us on YouTube at Redonia Thomas. My friends, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord bless multiply all the gifts, the tithes, and the offerings you have poured into this ministry. Now, let us pray. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless, blameless before the throne of the everlasting God Almighty, be power, glory, and dominion, now, henceforth, and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. May this year be your most successful year yet as you walk into your destiny. Friends, please remember, please remember to double mask, to sanitize, 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 and keep your distance. Be safe. Be safe, my friends. May the good Lord bless you and keep you Until next time.